Hi everyone, this is Simon from Android Spin. I was just going to show you a quick look of the latest CM7 Cyanogen mod for the MyTouch 4G or HTC Glacier as it's known. There is a thread on XGA with a build that is being recompiled, I don't know, probably a couple of times a day. It's currently on build number 20. Um, I've been running this all day today, playing about with it. It's stable. I am going to leave on, leave this on my phone as my everyday ROM. Um, and here we can go. It's powered up. I've done some configuration already, so let's just unlock here. Um, I've modified my home screen so that when it's locked and unlocked, we have the option to go straight into the dialer and straight into messaging. It does have the CRT shutdown if I lock my device. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so we can unlock. Here I could go straight into the phone dialer. Here I can go straight into messaging. Obviously I can mute the sound, turn the sound back on, or unlock the device and go straight into the ROM itself. Um, it's very smooth, very smooth. Runs great. You can see, just swapping from screen to screen. Uh, it does have the latest ADW built in. We can go into the settings. Cyanogen mod settings are now there. In some of the earlier builds, the CM settings were not available. But they are now there and uh, fully available. So we have the uh, update notifications, application settings, input settings, user interface, all the regular CM goodies we're used to. If you haven't seen Gingerbread yet, when you're scrolling on the screen, when it reaches the bottom or the top, you can see down at the bottom there, you get that fogging effect that tells you you've reached the bottom or the top. Uh, let's go in and take a look, see what build we're on. So we are Android 2.3.1 on the HTC Glacier. Uh, it's got the default Cyanogen Mog kernel built into this version. There is an additional kernel you can download which gives you more overclocking options. This kernel is overclockable up to I think it's like 1.47. I have not overclocked and everything is running just great. So no need right now. Um, what else can I show you? Well, it's Cyanogen mod. We've got the usual quick access to many features in our phones at the top here to turn Bluetooth on, Bluetooth off, Wi-Fi. I have tested everything out that I can find. Wi-Fi works just great. I have tried the Wi-Fi tethering. That works just great. I've tried it with encryption and without. Um, Bluetooth works just fine. Um, what else? GPS, everything works just fine. The only things I've found so far that are not working is trackball unlock does not work. Um, apart from that, it's a great ROM. It's incredibly fast, it's incredibly smooth. Um, it has the same issues running some of the quadrant scores that all the gingerbread ROMs are currently having. Um, where when it gets to some of the 3D graphics routines it just displays a blank screen. That's nothing to do with any of these builds, it's to do with Gingerbread itself, is what I've been told. Um, regardless of that, this is still giving back a very hefty score, even without overclocking. If we just wait for the results to come up, you'll see uh, we're getting high in the 2000s. Um, we'll just wait for that to finish. So there you go, you can see we get the black screen. Oh, well, it failed altogether that time. There are some glitches. I think um, Quadrant needs some work to work correctly with Gingerbread. I don't think it's anything to do with the ROMs. So there you guys have it. CM7 running on the HTC Glacier. It's definitely ready to be a daily driver on your phone. You have to change your rec recovery image because Gingerbread requires a different recovery format. So it's a little bit of a hassle if you want to switch back to CM6 because you then have to down flash a recovery image to a lower version. But I would say it's worth it. It's great. I've been running it. No problems. Um, or should I say no serious problems. 
Um, give it a try. Hope this helps you out. Thanks, bye.